Hey everybody. Fat Bird Finds here. I'm Mary Beth. And I'm Laura. Laura, it is a nasty, wintry mix of a day today. Oh my gosh. They said it was going to be a really big storm. We haven't really had a snow here in several years and we have gotten a full out winter in just the past 24 hours. Yeah, so we're in our flannels and our sweatshirts and very little makeup on just having a snow day, but we wanted to shoot a video. <laughs> it's true. So yeah, we've got about five or six inches outside. I know that's not a lot for a lot of you, but that's a lot for Western Kentucky. So especially since we haven't had any in a couple of years. And typically when it snows here, it's like 25, 30, 35 degrees. It's like 10 here today. Wind chill minus two. Yeah, so it's a very <laughs> non-typical snow event for us. So we're just hunkered down in the house. <laughs> but we've got all this beautiful stuff to look at. So Laura, why don't you briefly tell everybody what we've got here and how you acquired it? Okay, so this is our paperweights and perfume haul. Okay. So um, mom has a lot of times people come by when uh, their parents pass and things like that. They know that their parents went to layman's and and uh, so they just come down and they just want to sell um, entire lots of things. Right. And in this case, this particular family, the, the mom collected paperweights and she collected perfume bottles. Um, so that's what we've got here. Okay, great. And we've got about 50 of each. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. It's and then a lot. there was an online auction and I added a few extra perfume bottles to the perfume bottles. Nice. Yeah, so I think we ended up with I don't know, there's at least 50 paperweights and there's there may be a little bit fewer perfume bottles. Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what we're going to do, this week's video, we are going to take out the paperweights and talk about those individually. Next week's video, we will take out the perfume bottles and talk about those individually. Right. Also, as always, anything that we ever show in any of our videos is always for sale. And if you're interested, you can send us an email to fatbirdfinds at gmail.com. This week, we're gonna put little paper tags with numbers on each individual uh, paperweight and perfume bottle next week. So that will be easier for you guys to let us know which item you're interested in. Right, because it's it's kind of hard. The, the descriptions will sound very similar <laughs> with paperweights. It'll be like, well, the blue one or <laughs> the big multicolor one, or I can just anticipate that. Happening. Exactly. <laughs> so how do we want to do offers? Are we going to ask our viewers to offer us a price or are we going to have set prices for these things? In this particular case, Mary Beth, you know, our prof we prefer to do the set prices, mm -hmm. but in this case, I have no idea. I have looked and looked and looked. I've looked on eBay. I've watched people's live sales. Um, I know Alex and Dee sold some paperweights, um, and the prices are all over the place. Yeah. And so I, I think that we should just let people offer what they would like to pay. I know some of the smaller ones we'll put together okay. in lots of two or three with one number. Okay. And then the bigger ones that will stand on their own. Okay, cool. So if you're interested, uh, send us an email, fatbirdfinds at gmail.com. Give us the item number um, of the of the paperweight that you're interested in and, you know, give us an offer and we will email you back and let you know. Yeah, and be sure to use email because I know sometimes people do this with comments right. in the comment section, but um, we just prefer email. So. Yeah, and email helps us timestamp things. So if two people are interested in the same item, we will take the first person who emails us and it's harder to do that with the comments. As always though, we would love to know what your favorite pieces are in the comments because all the comments help our okay. channel. Okay, Laura, so let's get, let's separate the paperweights and let's get into it. This will be fun. Okay guys, so Laura and I are gonna start here at number one. We have these um, separated individually and by lots with item numbers. So again, if you're interested in purchasing any of these paperweights, you can send us an email, fatbirdfinds at gmail.com, along with the item number. So we are gonna be looking for offers of at least $10. Offers of at least $10. Yeah, that's why I put a few of the smaller ones together. Awesome, mm -hmm. perfect. So some of the paperweights that we're gonna show, Laura and I feel are a little bit va more valuable than others. So it is possible that you might um, receive a counter offer from us in some instances but we are going to go ahead and get started here with number one. Okay, so we've got two globe paperweights in number one. Okay. We'll just show the bottom. 
a lot of these and the reason we're taking offers is because I don't know a lot about paper weights. Okay. So we're just going to kind of buzz through them and let you guys decide for yourself. I'll point out if I see any damage. I don't see any damage on these two. Anything on the bottom of that one? Just a little sticker, a sticker that's, that's gone. That's gone. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Number two, this is, these are both cobalt color. Uh, that's kind of a satiny finish, and it really needs a good soaking. I tried cleaning it, but. Okay, that one says uh, made in Taiwan. Okay. So be aware, guys, not all of these are vintage. Some of them are. Some of them are very vintage. This one is just a an, an egg, a full egg shape. There's no flat bottom to it's it. It's a black egg. <laughs> Don't let it roll it's away. It's so pretty. Oh, it's going to roll away. <laughs> this might be one of my favorite lots, Mary Beth. Oh, it's so shiny. This one. That little one's adorable. Isn't it? It's completely round. Spoiler alert here. <laughs> it's another marble. Yeah, it's completely round. Okay. And then this one, though, has a flat bottom. And look at how pretty it, that iridescent finish mm -hmm. is. Very Art Deco looking. Love it. Anything on the bottom? There's not. Okay. And there's no damage on those two either. Cool. Now here's a lot of little apples. Okay. And I put the three of them together because this one with the bolaconte, which is adorable. I love the bolaconte, but it is broken on the top. Looks like it had a little leaf there. Looks like there might have been a leaf and a little stem. Okay. So he's really, you can just consider him thrown in with the other two apples. Okay. The other two apples do not have any damage that I can see. Cool. What is that mark? Can you see that? I I see it, but I can't read it. Hold on. L-E-V-A-Y, Le Le -E maybe? Maybe. See, that's where it comes. You know, if I knew more about it, I would know what I was supposed to be looking at. <laughs> we can figure it out better, but I don't know about that one. Okay. And then this is another clear one. Looks like what's left in the ma of a Made in China sticker, actually. Okay. And... Uh, yeah, so there's those three. Cool. Number five, super sweet. Look at these sweet little eggs. They are both flat on the bottom. And look at these. These have the a few bubbles inside, mm -hmm. which I love. And you guys, uh, there's a little sticker. Used to be a sticker. Yep. And I don't know my, this is art glass. I don't know if it's Murano or not. We do have one piece over in the collection marked Murano, but these do not have any marks. Okay. Super cute, though. And look at these two little guys. That looks like it could be a ring tree. I know. You know how people, collectors, put oddities in their collections, right? So yes. I'm not sure that this is actually a paperweight, but it's like a big garlic uh, garlic clove. Or what do you call the full thing? A head. A head. Thank you. <laughs> it's not just a clove. Okay, and then look, that's like a little tomato with the, with the bubbles inside. Cute. And no damage on those pieces. Awesome. And that garlic is heavy, right? Oh, yes. Uh-huh. Is, super, it, is super it brass? Heavy. It's weighted. It's super heavy. It's brass, but it's weighted as well. Gotcha. And I love these. Look at these pretty purple colors. These are Easter. Wouldn't you love to get these in your Easter basket? Oh, my gosh. That's a good idea. I know, right? Um, that one's got something marked on it. It's hard to read, right? I don't have my glasses on. Show the little egg, and then I'll see what this one says. Okay. That one used to have a sticker. That one's really pretty too. You can't read it, can you? I can't. I'm trying, but it's etched in there. And... Like maybe, hold on. <laughs> we should have done this ahead of time. Something pixie. Yeah. I can't read the top word, but the bottom word says pixie. That's so cute. If we can figure it out later, maybe we can put it on top here. Okay. The video. All right, let's move over to the table. Okay. Here we go, Laura. Ready? You got to speed me up, right? Right. <laughs> okay. That it, one's quite big. Isn't he pretty? That he, one's like the size of a grapefruit or something. Right, and he's not as heavy as some. Okay. But very pretty, and I don't see any damage on him. It looks like a peppermint. <laughs> it would be spearmint. Yes. <laughs> okay. There's a couple like this in the lot. Here's the first one. Look at all the pretty bubbles. Very nice. Um, made in China. Okay. So again, guys, not all of these are vintage. Some of them are. Still, that's a gorgeous piece, I think. Again, these probably, and these two, one of those oddities, they're probably not paperweights, right? Right. They're probably, and they're probably from a department store of some sort. Yeah, I think so. Um, 
right? But they're still pretty. Yeah, they'd be cute in your kitchen. Look at this really cool triangle, triangular shape. Right? Oh yeah. And look, it looks like he came from TJ Maxx or something. Show the top of it. Full disclosure here. Cool. I like the shape. This person just loved paperweights. They were not discriminatory about <laughs> whether where or not they came from. Whether or not they were vintage, right? Right. Oh, here's a pretty brass apple. Okay. And that will come off. I'm sorry, I have not cleaned that. It's got like a little bit of a sticky residue mm -hmm. on it. Like from a sticker. Okay. Mom gave me this display stand to use, so it's not for sale, but see, this one is just round, this globe. Oh yeah, it doesn't have a bottom. It's perfectly round. Yeah, it doesn't sit. You'd have to have a stand of some sort to set him on. Right, and my table was like so uneven <laughs> that that would have just rolled right off there. So the stand is not part of this, but it is the, the round globe with no bottom. Number 14 is another apple. It's a pretty little prismed apple. Okay. Any of these apples would be great teacher's gifts, right? Oh, yeah. And that's Ole Cassini, so that's cool. Awesome. It's a cool brand. Number 15, we've got another globe, and it's clear. This one does have a bottom. And this one does have a bottom, and again, it has the little Made in China stickers. Okay. Another bowl of Conte. Yeah, look how pretty he is. That one did have a sticker, but you cannot read what that one said. Nope. And again, um, no damage that I've seen on that one. Okay. Ooh, Ooh, that one's pretty. I like this one a lot. That one looks like a marble. Yeah, it almost looks like a marble. It does look like a marble, and it looks even like a marble inside of this uh of this clear casing, right? Mm -hmm. But it's really heavy. Like compared to that green and white one wasn't so heavy. This one's super heavy. Okay. Made in China again. Okay. And That's see, like look, the size of a you softball. Can, you can see little, these probably aren't controlled bubbles. These are just regular bubbles that happen in there. Okay. And that one is number 17. These are cool. These are one of the cooler pieces, right? So some of these art glass ones we I think one we've seen was marked made in Poland this one I think is made in Taiwan um, yeah these are made in Taiwan okay so they've got the blue on the inside so pretty again they're worth every bit of the ten dollars oh yeah I think they're probably worth a little bit more than that and we'll see what you guys think okay this is cool. Look at this great big bubble in there, Mary Beth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? Very. And this one has got, like, if you can see, it's like a little signature. Like, it's oh, either X that's or hard to see. Y A R G. So, X A R G. Okay. Or Y. Either one. So, that's cool. Oh, look, this is a ladybug. Oh, it's got a ladybug in there. That's my favorite, I think. <laughs> I just am partial to it. And I like how it's sort of flattened out. Mm-hmm. And it's flat on the bottom. Pretty. Mm-hmm. I love him. This one's my favorite. Oh, look at that. Isn't that cool? Wouldn't you like to know how they can actually make this? Yeah, how did they get that in there? And you guys, the can lights are reflecting there's not any bubbles right correct or anything in this can those are just those little light things are just reflection i don't know how we get rid of that yeah we can't <laughs> what's the bottom okay. of that side so the bottom says handcrafted in canada okay um something infinity products terax t-a-r AX Infinity products. Okay. Probably a gift store item, but you know, it was probably $25 or so and it, you know, new when it was put out, I bet. Ooh, this one's pretty. Now this is this one really, the ladybug is my favorite, but this one's my next favorite. <laughs> this one's Murano because it has marked it. So this collector does have some nice pieces in here. Very. But you know, when the stickers are gone and stuff, there's it's hard to tell unless, exactly. you're, unless you're an expert. You exactly. Know. But this one, thank goodness, is marked. So love that one. Beautiful. Yes. I mean, that. can you see the bubbles inside there? 
Yes. They're so much prettier in person. But yeah, I expect that one to be worth quite a bit. Okay. Number 23, look at that. Like a, um, I don't know what I want to say. It's, it's kind of got a rainbow effect. Yeah, it does. Murano made eggs with this kind of coloration with mm -hmm. the bubbles inside. These, however, this marked made in China. Okay. So I guess they're copies of that. If you, you guys, if you have a Murano one, I've seen them listed for like 200 something dollars. Oh, wow. But obviously that's not what that one is. Okay. Ooh, that's a pretty shape. Yeah, it's like a teardrop or a raindrop shape, right? Yeah. It's got the cobalt blue in the middle and the little controlled bubbles all around. So I love that piece. I like that one. No markings, but he's really pretty. Great. Okay. Here's your, uh, the, you can tell she loved the globe ones, right? Yes. There's a lot of those. So this is the one with like the semi-precious you know, stone put in there, made into those. You see those a lot in the higher end gift store catalogs and things like that for people for desk, you know, to gift to them to put on their desks. But, um, you know, I think those run in the 18 to $20 range on eBay. Okay, now that one does have a crack. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. I forgot. I don't remember exactly where it is. Yeah, I see it now. Did you find it? Yeah, it's right here. Okay. It's hard to see. It is. We like to be forward with everything. So yeah, there is a crack. It looks like it's going. Yeah. Right there. You mm -hmm. see it? Okay. So yeah, use your own judgment on that one. Okay, look at this one, Mary Beth. Let's let's look at it and then I'll let you show the tag. Okay. So another like teardrop shape. Mm-hmm. Isn't that pretty? Very, and it's also kind of got it like a triangular teardrop shape. Yes, yeah, the sides are kind of flat. Uh, there's nothing marked on the bottom, but right here, here's their tags. It's on the side. So can you see that? It's like made in Poland, lead crystal. It says it's signed by the artist. Oh, let's look again then. Maybe it's signed like Oh, there is like a little etching. Hold on, move your hand. I think that might be a little right there. Oh. Quit moving it. <laughs> Sorry. Right there. Is that a signature? I think so. I think it's like an AP or something like like two initials. Okay, awesome. So that one's cool. Oh, you moved. Oh, you no. You dropped the thing. Oh, no. Here we go. There you, That's great, Laura. Good job. Okay, number 27. We've showed one like this before. It's just got all the pretty bubbles. Super heavy. And it's not marked on the bottom and there's no damage. Okay. And we're going to go up here to number 28. 28 is similar, but it has a pretty cobalt in there. Right? And it's got a big flat bottom and it has a little chip. Okay. See it right there? Yes. Right here where my fingernail is? Mm -hmm. Okay. And look at him, he's kind of squatty, like he's not as round as the other ones. That's right. It looks like he's like squatting or something. <laughs> <laughs> this one's pretty, it's got like three kind of, they're like trumpet shaped. Mm. Like big, huge bubble things. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. And they've got a little bit of color to them. That one's blue and that one's white and that one's green. That's cool. Can you, does that show on camera that they're different colors? Yes. Okay. No damage, and it's flat on the bottom. But look at that, that looks, uh, that pontel is not as smooth and ground off and everything as some of the other ones. So this one might be a little bit more valuable than the other ones. Okay. This one's one of the, look, it's like a triangle. Isn't that cool? Very. And it's got a few bubbles inside. I like the color swirls in that one. Mm-hmm. And it had a sticker, but no longer has that sticker. So I don't know what it said, but I love it. Okay, and that one was number 30. One more of the big giant <laughs> bubble ones that are super heavy. Okay. Also made in China. So very cool. Um, I don't feel any kind of damage on this one. Okay. 32, we've got us another cobalt globe, Mary Beth. 
She liked the globes. Yeah. And this satin part here could use a little more cleaning. Um, it just, you need to take a little time with it. I used a paper towel and of course the paper towel lint is going to stick. Right. <laughs> okay. And then it's just flat on the bottom, no sticker, but no damage. Okay. Here's a pretty swirl. So it's kind of like pink. And this one's cloudy or you know what I mean? Yes. Like I see a couple of bubbles in here, but then there's like a lot of swirl. Um, I don't know. Cloudy kind of swirls in there. Okay. And it's kind of squatty too. But look at that. See? That's more, it looks more. Oh, yeah. The ponto is rougher. I mean, it doesn't feel rough, but it's not ground off like a brand new mass produced piece. Exactly. It looks more hand done, right? Exactly. Okay, and we got a green globe, just like all the rest of the other ones. Okay. There's no damage on him, and he says made in Taiwan. Okay. That one's also kind of like satiny, right? Right. The, the continents are the clear, and then yeah. the rest of them's etched or satin or something, right? Right. And here's another one, like the one that, like the earlier one that we talked about, kind of that egg shape. Um, the sticker is gone. This one has just a tiny little, little chip here. Okay. If you can see that, it does not show when it's sitting up, but it's there. And I love that. Isn't that pretty? Very nice. Okay, and look at this one. Look at the blue and white, like, tornado-y kind of swirl. Oh, yeah, it is. Megan would have had to have this one when she was in high school. That was the, they were the tornadoes, and they were blue and white. It's made in China. Okay. And right here is another little chippy. Okay. <coughs> Sorry, Mary Beth. It's okay. I'm not mad at you. Okay. So, we put these two together. They're kind of the little Millie Fiore kind of style on number 37. Okay. So you can see in comparison to some of the other ones, the size. Right. Okay. Um, I don't see any damage on this one. That's flat on the bottom there. This one's also flat on the bottom. And I don't see any damage on him. Neither one of these are marked. Great. All right, we're moving to 38. It's an apple, right? Right, and it's Millie Fiore apple. Murano does make this kind of apple, but it's probably not what this one is because it's marked made in China. Okay. But beautiful. Look at it. You know, we can't just discount them just because they're made in China. I think they're pretty, you know, they're pretty on their own there. And he's kind of heavy. And here is a pretty swirl. It's a little bit dome shape, if you can see that, rather than perfectly round. Right. It did have a sticker, but it's gone. Um, I'm not sure what that sticker would have been. It's kind There's of a dark red, right? Right. Yeah. I love that one. Okay, so I'm going to have you come back over here to okay. 40. All right, so this one is one of our favorites. Um, I wish I knew more about this one, but I think it looks like the nicer one. Look, again, that pontal mark down there. I think, I don't know. It might say something in there. I think it says El, Elmore, Indiana. Is what Let me grab it. Actually, what I think it says, which I didn't even notice. It's hard. I can't, I don't have my glasses on, so I can't really see. I had it just where I could see it. Hold it still. It's hard to see. But yeah, there are some words there. Yeah, I think it says something like Elmwood, Indiana, or Elmore, or something. We'll see if we can see that better. There's a lot going on in there. Yeah, look, there's big bubbles. There's all these beautiful swirls. Yeah, that's a good one. Mm-hmm. I love that one. There's a lot of weight to that one. Okay. It's good and heavy. And that one's number 40. Okay, Laura 41 is this one up here. Okay. It has the controlled bubbles, the bulacante, and it's got a big pink or red oval piece in the middle. Okay. Um, that's just some sticky stuff on the bottom. There's no damage on there. I'm feeling it with my fingers. Okay. 
but there's no mark either. Great. Look at this guy. Oh, that one's interesting. Isn't that fun? That one's like canister shaped almost. Right, and it's got like the big green uh, tree shaped swirl in the middle, a bunch of bubbles, and then these little pretty little primary color pieces all throughout. That's cool. Yeah, and had a sticker of some sort, but it's not there anymore. And the bottom's ground off and there's no mark. Okay. I like that one. That was 42? Uh-huh. Okay, so we've saved the biggest one for last. Oh, 43. Yeah. Look how pretty that is. So you're gonna have to pick that one up and show it okay. better. Yeah, it's reflecting the brown from the table and it's not really brown, see it's, it's clear and then it's got the primary colors in the middle. Beautiful art glass piece. Um, I don't know. There's no maker on the bottom or anything. It's uh, ground off on the bottom. This right here just feels a teeniest bit rough, but I wouldn't even call that a chip. Okay. I could just feel that it's tiniest bit rough right there. Okay. And that one's pretty tall. But, yeah, look at that. I, that's, I'd say that's 10, 11 inches. Okay. Awesome. What do you think about that one? Love it. I like it too. Okay, well done. And that one concludes the paperweights and number 43. Okay, guys, so that is going to conclude the little paperweight tour. Oh, that was a lot. It was a lot. <laughs> we have a lot for sale. Yes, so don't forget to send us an email if you're interested in any of those items, fatbirdfinds at gmail.com. Just send us the item number that you're interested in and send us an offer. Yep, make me an offer. This, this is something I don't know a lot about. I know they're worth at least $10. But then we'll work it out from there. Okay, guys. So make sure that you comment below. Let us know what your favorite ones were. Um, give us a like on this video. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And stay tuned to see what Fat Bird finds next. See you next time. Bye, everybody.